Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy on PS5. In the last video, we learned the Akio charm and we learned Levioso. Apparently it's not Levioso, it's Levioso. And so, yeah, uh, I was talking to my friend uh, who is a big Harry Potter person and she was like, it's Levioso. I was like, apparently it's called Levioso. So anyways, we're going to be um, doing a assignment for Professor Ronan and then we are going to Hogsmeade with uh, our friend Natty, the girl who is in Professor Ronan's uh, class with us, uh, the girl from Uganda. And so uh, let's go ahead and talk to Professor Ronan right here. But it looks ah, like we can are. actually Revelio collect the field guide. <laughs> Wyvern Fountain or Wyvern, I don't know. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a Wyvern Wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, uh, this is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y, slain by the Lively Knight in spite of himself. All right, so as soon as as we explore more and more, we get experience and we get level up. So let's go and talk to you Professor have a new Ronan. You to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. All right, let's I'll go ahead and do this. Task right away, Professor. Okay, uh, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the art dark arts tower. Okay, so this is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Uh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Wait, how do I collect it? <clears throat> I just jump up and catch it like it's some old school Nintendo 64 shit. Um. Oh, wait. Accio. Wait, what? Oh, R2, right? Levioso. Oh, no, not Levioso. Accio. Damn it. Where'd it go? Oh. Ha ha ha. We got it. All right. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Oh, there is. Got it. Nice. Haha, <laughs> problem solving. I'm sitting there like, how the hell do I collect this shit? I'm thinking I have to jump at it. Nope. Just go ahead and accio it. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, now they're adding different buttons. Yeah, before it was nothing but X's. Now it's actually square XX. Reparo. All right. The mending charm, Reparo, can be used to mend broken objects and pieces in the environment. Nice. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the wall. Can I Leviosa it the cat? Symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a juicy lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. That poor cat. <laughs> that poor cat. All right. Uh, so now we can go ahead and mend this. Uh, Prepare. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. We're going to be fixing up this school in no time. Have this shit looking nice. Okay. So what are we doing? Let's go ahead and look at our map. 
Welcome to Hogsmeade. Let's go ahead and track that quest. All right, meet Natty near the entrance to Hogwarts. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to Hogsmeade and get some stuff that we need. Ooh, that rhymed. I like it. Wait, what? That's really cool. That is a crazy looking statue. I like sitting around the fire. Yeah, there's so many puzzles around this area. Oh, Samantha. Uh, no. What's her, what's her name? Uh, is it Samantha? Can't really remember. Samantha Doll, I think her name is. Rebellion. Okay, I was wondering if I could check anything out over there. I like looking around and seeing what's around here. All right, so we got flu flame. What is this? Level one lock? Okay, eventually we'll open that up. Oh, a treasure chest. Solar protection spectacles. Wait, what? Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Gear? Oh, that's right, we got gear. Solar protection spectacles. Nice. Okay, we got some defense. Neckwear. Natural beige scarf. Yeah, now nah, let's take that off. Face wear. We already did that. Uh, outfit. Perfect. Perfect vest uniform. Oh. Oh, we took it off. Oh God. Whatever, Und oh my god, walking around looking like Jan Grandpa Joe from, like, Willy Wonka. Hello. Rebellion. Wait. Okay, I'm about to say, I know I saw something here. Flattened armor. This set of armor belonged to Sir Skaggle Skagglethorpe, the, he the Heedless, who unwisely challenged that mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Yeah, that was a bad thing to do. Broken broom. This broken broom belonged to Celine Wartnaby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Okay, interesting. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again and to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I'm liking the representation here. I'm liking this. This is this is kind of cute. Okay, so we're still out front of Hogwart uh Hogwart I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. I mean, actually, I asked for you. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbeer in the village. Butterbeer! The of Professor I actually had butterbeer for the first time, uh... Two, three weeks ago? It was actually pretty damn good. I cannot tell you how nice Tastes like butterscotch. After being cream soda. Ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. This is actually really cool. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. I actually I expected us to be taking a carriage or something to Hogsmeade, oh, but it looks I like we're going to be running there. So much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. Oh, wait, I what? I often spot lace winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? 
They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Stew them? Okay. So lacewing flies are good for stews, for potion making. Learning, we're learning. Look, from a forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Oh wow, you actually see them flying close to the ground and you see the dust kicked up. Absolutely. Some nice attention to detail. That Looks like we got a flu flame here. Left. It's off limits for students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Past that ruin? I bet there's like a treasure chest or something over here. If I, could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley Leaping toadstools. Since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hold on a second. Um. Huh. Okay, I guess we can't break that yet. Oh, okay. We can jump up here. Alright, what did we get? We searched it, but did we get anything? Ornate ju juniper gloves. Okay, all right. Look at me. I'm over here. Oh my God, no. All right, so let's go into our thing because we just got some gloves. So let's go into our gear. Handwear. Oh wow, extraordinary ornate juniper gloves. Nice. Already we got some gear. Hmm, nice, okay. See what happens when you go ahead and look around? Find some good stuff, man. I'm about to be the most badass wizard. What's this? Revelio. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used Whoa, to this. Whoa, what's this? What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become Okay, so we got some moonstone. All right. Hopefully it will for you too. Yeah, we're going to be collecting a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure we could use this for, like, potions. I don't know. Maybe we could, like, reinforce our wand or something Mr. by Moon. with those moonstones. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth here? <gasps> Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, Poor is he Mr. drunk? A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Yeah, that's what I'm about I to say. say that I have never seen him in such a state. Oh, they automatically come to you. You don't, you don't gotta there walk up and grab them. outside of the castle walls, not just hugs me. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. All right, so here we are at Hogsmeade. And here we Yo, are. Yo, look at the purple drip, it is hard though. It's to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. 
I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Okay. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Hmm. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. Okay. Holy crap, this town is actually kind of big. Alright, let's go ahead and track that, which is right here, actually. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm. Uh, no, no. I love how no, everything not is you. not uniform. Like, no. there's no straight shelf. Ah, it's like yes. just a, it's a yes. bunch of slants and everything. Mm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Hey yo! Here, give this one a try. <laughs> Powerful core, ten inches. You might do. Yeah, I bet it would. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Okay. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, that one is nice. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Okay, uh, well. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. So they're all green? Okay. Yes, I think you might be the one. I should have been able to pick yeah. wands like it was Squirtle, Charmander, Take or Bulbasaur. Alright, natural gray, wood type, apple, core type, phoenix feather, flexibility, brittle, wand length, 13 and 3 quarters inches, okay. Wand style, okay. Curious indeed. Stalk, honey brown, spiral, ash brown. I like the ash. I like the spiral. How intriguing. Let's do the green gray. I like the green gray. So let's hold on a second. Finalize. Oh, okay. Wood type. 13 and 3 quarters. Curious indeed. 14 and a half inches. 9 and a half inches. Did it get bigger? Brittle. What's the difference? How intriguing. It doesn't. I don't know if there's anything really different about this. Let's do Curious whippy. Indeed. Fourteen and a half inches. 
consistent magic, producing powerful magic, producing a great range of magic, the Phoenix Feather. I think I'm gonna go ah, for the Phoenix Feather. Phoenix Feather, exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I wonder if I can, like, come here and... Upgrade my wand or something. Oh, what's this? Solar protection goggles? Goggles? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and check out our gear. Okay, so we get the same thing, but this one is extraordinary. Okay, alright. So you can find chests anywhere, apparently. This is interesting. Um... Go ahead and look at the map. Where are we going to next? Alright, so we got Pippin's Potions. I think I saw something here. Oh, okay. Frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. Okay, so basically you get, like, fireworks and stuff like that. Oh, I thought maybe I would see something on that. And it looks like we have level 1 locks. Oh, yeah, as soon as we learn how to unlock stuff... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. What's in this? 13 gold? Nice. And let's go in here. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's potions. He said potions or potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Okay. What can I do for you today? Let's see. Uh, Edoras Potion Recipe. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Nice, okay. Recipe for a healing potion. The Wigan Well Potion Feel Recipe. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Holy crap. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. These are expensive. Okay, we're not going to sell anything. 
Oh, he's got a chest here. Wait, what do we get from here? Sheepskin winter hat. Oh, okay. You can get some pretty interesting stuff out of all these buildings. So let's look at our hat that we just got. I hope it's something at least cool. Yeah, nah, we're not wearing that. You, you ain't catching us slipping. Nah, we're not wearing that. I'm sorry, you're not gonna catch me walking around looking like I'm about to go night night. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and check out our next area that we're going ahead and check out. Hairstyling. I wonder, are there different hairstyles offered in here than it is in the game? I mean, in the character creation? Oh, wow, the little mannequins, they have hair changings. That's interesting. Hello. Oh, come in, come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Okay. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Oh, you trying to see my hotel, waves ain't spinning? All right, so let's see what Why we can not, do. I say, what sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure, but you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Sure. What services do you offer? All right, so what let's see if we have anything different. In? And I didn't realize they do have locks. Those are some good ass locks. Sadly, I'm not going to do the locks. I'm not going to do the locks. Uh... I think we're going to go with this look. All right. Yeah, I just wasn't feeling that hairstyle anymore. All right, so where are we going now? Tomes and scrolls and vigil the magic uh, neat. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our map. Uh, this is the magic neep right here produce seeds and fertilizer and then we have tombs and scrolls we might as well go here it's on the outskirts of the city uh the town so we'll go there first and then we'll come back around for the other west hogs meat okay oh wait i just saw All right. Nice. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? All right, so Dittany seeds is guess. what we was talking You're to Samantha about. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Okay, so I think we can reveal this. Ah, yeah, I did see that. All right, the magic neat cart. 
This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neat. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. And what do we have here? Got some gold. Hey, we got half of our money back uh, from our, whatchamacallit, from getting our haircuts. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and... I kind of want to check out what's behind here. Okay. Okay, can we jump up here? Okay, there we go. I wanted to see what was behind here, if there was anything, but I don't think there is. Uh, but I guess we're just going to Skyrim our way through here and just jump through. Okay, all right, that works. So now we got to go ahead and visit... No path available for this. Okay, if I remember correctly, it's over here? Yes, it's right here. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for this. Yo, look at them gloves. Look at the drip. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Oh, but nice. I should let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. I wonder if I'll be able to decorate my dormitory. And a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Let's look at what we have, shall we? Potion table with a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Oh, nice. Unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station. Perfectly suited for all of your potion brewing needs. Dope. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Beast feeder spellcraft. Beast toy box spellcraft, oh, chopping station, dung composter. Wow, this seems very in depth. This seems very deep. I wonder if there's like a chest here. So far, there's been like a chest in every place. Uh, I could just walk back here. All right, no, don't mind me. I don't like that thing. Blue flat cap. I don't like that thing. That thing jumped up. I'm like, hey, what the? What you trying to do? All right, maybe this will be a much better than that last one. All right, I could rock that, even though I look like I'm about to sell newspapers on the corner. Um. Levioso, Reparo, Lumos, Revelio. I wonder. if I get like an invisibility potion so I, I could probably uh, take that chest if it doesn't see me ooh okay meet natty at the town circle all right so we got we got some interesting things that we can do around here I like that okay yeah we might have to go ahead and get a, a sneaking potion or whatever it is
Ah, I have everything. Never mind. I, I look like a train conductor a favorite shop. with that hat on. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to get some. Um, uh, holy crap! Oh, wow. Oh, now we're going to learn how to dodge. All right, let's do this. Yes, yeah, the juggernaut. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We have to let him down. Ancient magic throw? Oh, okay. I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like this duo. I wonder if uh in hard mode they don't give you the indicators. That he's about to attack. Okay, that was weird. Look, he's focusing. Oh Don't yeah, baby. Off. We need to make sure he stays that way. Okay. Invoke ancient magic. Kamehameha! Oh my god. Bro, you just obliterated that troll. Goodness, a second troll. Goodness, a nuclear a bomb. What the hell was yourselves? that? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit. I'm still here, unlike that troll. Nerve like that. The makings of Anora, if you ask me. If you are unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things Ah, back we could reparo. Of okay. course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, she looks like Caitlyn from League of Legends with that hat. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh... Reparo. Jay oh, Pippin's potions, there. okay. A moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Singer to worry about. Let's go ahead and fix that up. And is there anything else that he messed up around here? Apparently, it is. Oh, we have three more things. Two more things. All right. One more thing. Uh Hey, where's the other thing at? Tenebris attire. Oh, okay. Just get a random outfit just chilling. Okay. Hey, yo, we looking dap. 
Okay, let me find out. I'm out here looking swaggy. All right. Uh, wait, where is this thing that I got to repair? I don't see anything else to repair. Did I miss something? Repair. Oh, really? That? Okay, that was interesting. Oh, wait, we can... Hold on. Revealio. Glad Rags, wizard wear. Founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Glad Rags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Okay. We were just talking about you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, all right, I, I fucks with it. What's over here? A teacup. What are you drinking? What, there was something in there? What? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank sure, you, okay. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Please tell me you can give me uh, something now, for this hat. Let's try this on for size, shall we? Am I Let gonna get to pick out my own outfit? Play. Take oh, your okay. Time. Preview the gear. I mean, I guess. You select a new piece of gear, time to equip it. The gear screen, okay. Your current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. Set the cloaks and robes where, okay. Wait, what? Was there a difference in looks? Crimson Voyager garb. Royal Maroon. Okay. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Okay, so we're going to head over I to. Even more rebellious the items. Should you be inclined? Glad Rags Mannequin. Unlike its enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Glad Rags serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Okay. Oh, we got another one of those uh, chests over there. Dignified school robe. Okay, well, we already got something better than whatever he just gave us. So, uh, wait, hold on a second. We got to press uh, start, right? Okay, so start gets us to the main main menu. And then we can go ahead and check out this. So we already got something better than what he gave us. Okay, so there's really no difference in this and this. Other than that, this one actually gives offense. But this one comes with blue trims. Ooh, this is, this is nice. This is nice. Okay. And no more looking like a hand-me-down. No more blotches and weird stuff on it. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. I gotta keep an eye out for those pages too. They're like flying everywhere. 
Oh, oh, the dude. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. He saw us see him, didn't he? Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Wenrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Okay, bad stuff is happening. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh, okay. All right. Is that a transgender woman no, I'm coming. seeing? Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. That's awesome. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. I mean, I'm My not pleasure. trying to... I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with... <coughs> oh. oh. sorry, man. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. Oh, is that Theophilus no that we was talking about? Tricks. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Yeah, perhaps you didn't hear her. I said... My friend is busy. Or well, them, think I don't you know. Had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Is that supposed to be a threat? Like what kind of a threat was that? Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Some quests have uh, open objectives with no compass. Set, set a personal waypoint from the map to track your own locations. Talk to Natty outside the three broomsticks. So let's go ahead and talk to Natty outside. How about we actually move somewhere else outside of town and talk? I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Select the Hogwarts button to switch to the Hogwarts. All right, so before we go back to Hogwarts, we're going to end the video here, guys. Um, I'm enjoying the game. I like the combat. I like the collection uh, that the game has. And it seems like there's a lot to do with creating potions, uh, getting, uh, you know, spells and, um, 
being able to conjure up your know, potion tables and stuff like that so seems like there's a lot to do in the game uh but thank you guys for all watching if you want to support the channel make sure to leave a like and subscribe guys it definitely helps out and i will be bringing you some more hogwarts legacy content catch you guys later in the next episode peace out